Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today I got something in the mail I'm pretty excited about. Um, for those of you that have been watching my Arduino videos, you know I like I work with this. This is my Arduino Uno Rev 2 board. And as I mentioned at the start of this one, I started doing the Arduino tutorials. This was the only Arduino I had, and they had actually released the Rev 3 spec boards, which broke out the SCL SDA lines for the I2C, and they added a couple extra pins here for IORF and something else. But I already had the Arduino Uno and I wasn't going to go out and get another Arduino Uno Rev 3 for basically the same board. But Arduino has started to release other boards in their Rev 3 line and here is one of them. It's the Arduino Leonardo. This is a Rev 3 board because you can see right here SCL and SD lines have been broken out and they've got the IO Ref and secret pin whatever it may be up there. So this is uh, the second Rev3 board to be released. There is going to be another one, the Arduino Duo, which is going to be an ARM-based Arduino Mega, which I'm actually pretty excited to see because that means we're going to have events processing as opposed to just interrupts, but I digress. So I'm here to talk about the differences between these two boards. Now, setting aside the fact that they are Rev2 and Rev3 boards, just ignore that fact. There's something pretty clever that the guys at Arduino did. This is an ATmega uh, 328P. This is an ATmega 32U4. Now, they are, the they are the same series. It's the 32 series. The difference is this has serial ports. This has serial ports and native USB, which means while on the Uno they had to use the ATmega 8U2 to communicate, to translate a USB signal into a serial communication that this can understand, it's all built into this one chip. It's all right here. So that means that this board is actually $5 cheaper with the headers, 10 without. And they've gone ahead and replaced the USB B class connector, that's the square base there, with a USB micro. It's the kind you use to charge if you have an Android based device. So let's talk about what this board can do. So it is your Rev3 board. So it's got the pins like I mentioned. Uh, pins have been, um, switch has been moved around to the upper corner. And other things have been relocated. The LEDs up here, I'm gonna see if I can zoom, uh, move it closer so you can at least see the text. So on the pin 13 LED, TX and RX line. So you still get serial communication. Um, the ATmega 32U4 does have a couple extra secrets. On the back here you actually see while they do have these two pins, the SDA and SCL lines broken out, let's see if I can get it to focus, it also has uh, a couple extra analog input pins. So instead of having six on this one, this actually has 12. While they do replace uh, the digital pins, you do get more. Uh, the Arduino Leonardo also has more PWM pins. And one of the reasons I bought this, because I thought this was really cool, if you've done some poking around with the AVR architecture, you know that there's a library out, th out there called VUSB, which allows this chip or any AVR architecture chip with at least, I think it's 4K of memory, to emulate a USB device uh, using 1.1 protocol, I think it is. That sounds right. Thing is, this can only emulate it. Because this is a 32U chip, the U meaning USB, this can actually be a USB HID protocol device. That's human interface device. So you, uh, there's already code in the Arduino 1.01 IDE with example code to make this thing work like a mouse and like a keyboard. So I'm pretty excited about what you can do with this. And just so you know, my tutorials from now on are going to be you, uh, Arduino Uno compliant and Leonardo compliant, and I will be doing a couple Leonardo tutorials with uh, some of the things this thing can do. So, this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.